What's going on guys? Clutch here once again. Welcome back to the channel. Looking at some new mods for Farming Simulator 19. New mods in the mod hub. We got a few to check out today. Not a lot, but we got a few. So let's dive into this guy's pitter patter. Clutch simulations. All right, so we're going to start over here. Uh, the next two mods we're talking about are available for all platforms, console and PC. Uh, number one, we have the Homer HR9 header. Now, I thought we had two headers yesterday that were being tested. It seems like only one of them was released for the Homer. This is the HR9 header. It is a four meter beat, uh, beat header. Now, we have a 5.4 meter header already in the store. So I don't know if I'm gonna use this very much for a few times we're using, uh, we're harvesting beets, but you know what, we got a new one. It's 5.4, this one's only four meters. Like I said, we do have the 5.4 meter already still in the store if you want to go with the bigger one. Go with the bigger one. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's move on down the line. Now this, on the other hand, is kind of cool. Now, we've already got a double for Wilson, uh, the Wilson B train, the Super B. I was it last week, maybe two weeks ago now. Now we have the Wilson A train. Now the big difference between the Wilson B train and the A train is how it connects. Um, the B train that we got last week, it would have had an extra wheel back here and then a fifth wheel hitch on the back. And then this trailer, trailer would be a fifth wheel connection. Now this setup with the A trains, or the, yeah, the A train setup, we're going to a pin hitch. It does make it more difficult if you want to do a road train. <laughs> no, it's not, it is possible still. And instead of using, um, Another Wilson trailer though, you'd have to use something different because obviously the front of this one is, well, it's a fifth wheel hitch and you don't have a hitch on the back of this trailer. So what you'd have to do, well, you'd have to go to something a little bit different. You have to go to one of the grain bins or you could go to, well, that little trailer right there. That'll even work actually. Anything with a pin hitch will work on the back of this, but you will not be able to connect as many. So if you want to go with a road train, you got to go with the, uh, what is it? The super B option. The super A will not work. Uh, the other the other notable difference with this particular trailer, guys, is that it's 5,000 liters smaller than the uh, the Super B. Uh, it is only 55,000 liters, where the other one was 60. So just be aware of that. As for colors, you will get uh, the same color options as you get with both the other, well, the in-game Wilson as well as the uh, the Super B. I think I'm getting those right. Super B, super, I get mixed up all the time. But that's going to do it for the console mods, guys. The next two mods we're talking about are available for PC only. These are PC only mods. So number one, we have a low load trailer. This is the HJM Special Low Loader, the TL38. This is different. Uh, I don't think I've seen anything quite like this. So it's designed for forestry equipment, kind of like the Kamatsu we have on here right now. You can see it's got these uh, wheel humps. You can kind of load things on it. Almost secures it in place, which is kind of handy. Now, one problem with this that I have is that it as well is a pin hitch. So you could actually connect this to the back of the Wilson if you wanted to. But it makes it somewhat more difficult because not many of the trucks, especially the in-game trucks, have pin hitches on them. So um, you'll have to use a smaller, like you'll be getting a, a semi-style truck, you'll be using something smaller typically to pull this with or a tractor like I have here. Uh, the other thing, let's see here, let's just jump inside. And if I can see it now, the time it takes for this back to load up, it's actually kind of crazy how slow it is. I guess they're trying to mimic the fact that you're out there doing this. It's just a little bit strange. And there goes the second one. The strap comes off and disappears. I find it kind of funny. Uh, let's go take a quick look at the store. There's something else I wanted to show you on this. So, like I said, it is designed for forestry use. However, you could put overrides in, override aids, and that just puts uh, some bars across over top of those wheel wells. So you could potentially load whatever you wanted onto this without any difficulty. So if you wanted to put a harvester, a tractor, another truck, whatever it might be, that will allow you to do that. Also, this is kind of interesting. You have an option for steering. So 15% steering, 30% steering. It only adds a thousand bucks, but it'll make it a little more maneuverable. That's kind of cool. I haven't seen a trailer that gives you that as an option. That's awesome. Uh, your price is 54000 a little on the pricey side, mind you, for this trailer, I think. But it is, uh, it's a very nice looking trailer. For color, you've got the full gamut there. You guys can choose whatever you like. Same with your rims. Make it as if you would make it yourself. 
And the last mod of the day, the Colossus Mega 208. Oh, man. Uh, I remember this from FS17, actually. This is a cool mod. Now, it's an older style Colossus Harvester. It comes with, I believe it's a 6 meter header. So the head's a bit small. I think it's 6 meters 12. I can't remember. I'll have to double check again. I can't judge distances in the game. It's bigger than 6, isn't it? Um, yeah, so it's a kind of a mid range harvester, I would call it. But uh, yeah, it's just good to have the claw stuff back again, of course, especially as a harvester. Oh, I don't want in that one. I want in this. We'll jump in there. You can see if we can jump in. First person view. <laughs> Looks pretty good. So this comes with the header and as well the, the header trailer we have sitting right behind us there. So you get both, uh, both of those as well as the harvester in this pack. The other thing with this, and we'll take a look at the store, it's the price on this. This is ridiculously cheap. There we go. Uh, this harvester is only, it's less than $60,000, I think, all in. There we go. And that is it, Raider Rock. So let's go take a quick look at it in the store. I just can't believe the price of this thing. So yeah, the base price is $46,000. I don't have anything that's even close to this. I can't even come close to that price point. Um, you have two different model gears up into 94 and then model from 94. Um, I don't see much of a difference. The only thing, it's not, it's not cosmetic. The only thing different is the size of the tank and the horsepower. You can see that change from 200 to 235, 7,500 to 8,000 liters, and then a bigger fuel tank as well. So that's the only difference. It does cost you an extra 14 grand to go with the newer model. Uh, you have some warning lights. You can go with just the one, two, or if DJ Goham's driving, you probably need three of them. And last of all, you have some options for wheels, uh, the Trelleborg or the larger ones. That's got, looks like some skinnies on the outside there. That is all the options for that. And if we quickly take a look at mods and testing right now, uh, you can see there hasn't been a whole heck of a lot that's changed since yesterday. I still see Pacific Northwest near the bottom there is still in testing for both console and BZ. Oh man, I hope that makes it out. Um, not a lot has changed here. We've got a couple maps though. Uh, Osina map is in testing. Hunter Farm as well. But other than that, not a whole lot has changed in the last day. We'll see uh, We'll see what happens here at the end of the week, but uh, expect to hopefully see some of these make their way out to the Mod Hub very soon. Current number of mods waiting to be tested is 56, and uh, currently a four-day four day wait time for newly submitted mods. But anyways, guys, that is really all we're going to be talking about today. That's the end of it. Those are the four mods that we got today. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like. If you're not a subscriber, don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you guys, well, hopefully tomorrow. Hope you have a great day. This is Clutch, over and out.